Guys, Rani here. Uh, just a little tutorial about this uh, frame thing. So basically, this is the result we want to achieve. So there is a template, a Canva template with this already uh, pre-made for you. So if I delete, for example, the background here, then we see I will just quickly change the color of the background to something darker so we can see the frame. So this is the frame and I can move it around. So we see that it's already like this. So I'm guessing this is a Canva element, but I couldn't find it. I couldn't find this element anywhere in Canva. So I tried searching for um, rectangle frame and I scrolled down pretty much for one minute and I couldn't find it. So a couple of questions arose in, arose in the group, sorry. Uh, one, can you do it manually? So the answer of course is yes, you can just uh, find some lines. So for this you go line, you can use these or because these are not very convenient because you cannot modify the width of these uh, lines. So what I do is I just use a simple rectangle. So you click R for rectangle and you can make it as thick or, uh, or, or narrow as you wish. So just using a rectangle. So let's make it very uh, thin like this and then shorter. Let's make something like this. So very easily you just reproduce your lines uh, by copying it. So I'm just going to copy this one to maintain the same uh, thickness of my line. All right, so let's see like this. I'm going to make this smaller. And of course, when you make it smaller, you can modify the, the width of this line. So it's a little bit tricky, uh, but with a little bit of practice, you can completely recreate this manually. So it's not so hard to do. And if you align them correctly, then it shouldn't be too much of a hassle to reproduce this frame. So 90 degrees. I'm going to copy this and move it. So if it's a little bit complex to move very uh, precisely, you can use the keyboard arrows and you can even hold shift to make bigger moves. And then, of course, you'll have to zoom in in order to see more precisely where your design stands. So let's zoom in 300%. Let's see. So we see here it's not completely touching. So I'm going to make this touch. Yep. It's not 100% precise, but I guess it's good enough. Maybe we can zoom in even more than this. It's not possible to zoom more than this. So this will be good enough. And then now we just without changing the width. Yep. So this is pretty good. Once you have one side, you can just copy it. So let's go back to 50%. Actually, 75 would be more appropriate there. And then just copy this and put it on the other side. Like this. Again, I'm going to zoom 300% to make the final adjustments. There. So I just click on it. And that should be good. Let's see. Just move it a little bit more. All right. It's not 100% perfect. We, we can see a little imperfection here. Um, but I would say there's nothing that would really show um, if you zoom out, if you have a normal size uh, design like this one. So this is it. And you can modify the width of uh, the length, sorry, of this uh, line here on the top, like. And, and then I, I suggest you zoom in all the way in order to keep to maintain the same width for this line because it's not easy like this. OK, and then same on the other side, you can reduce the length of this one. It's actually the line was upside down. So like this and I can reduce this again, making sure I maintain the same uh, width. 
So in order to make sure that it's the same length on each side, what I suggest you to do is to delete this one, copy this one, and just paste it on the other side. So that's the more precise way to do it. It's a little bit of a hassle to do it manually like this, but you get the idea. And I'm going to show you a third way of doing this, which is way easier, uh, but it won't work if you want to use this frame on a, um, on a graphic, on something else that really, if you want the, the background to show uh, or, or on a transparent background, it's not going to be useful for you. So the last way is simply to create a rectangle like this one, or actually you can even use like a empty rectangle, a frame rectangle. Let me see in my elements. And this should be in shapes. Yep, so probably this one. Yep. Maybe smaller. The problem here is that you don't control um, the width of the lines, but the, the trick here is to add another rectangle let's say something like that, that you will center here and you will just use the same color as the background. So like this, and you see this is much quicker, but you will have a rectangle here of a color. So if you're using a plain background, this is fine, but if you're using some other kind of background, then this trick won't work. So that's it, uh, three different ways of getting there. You can first use the Canva element if you can find it, and I'm sure it must be somewhere here in the library. I wish Canva would uh, have something to display, like when you click on an element, to display the code of this specific element so we could search it in the box. That would be awesome. Uh, so my, maybe a, a feature that I should propose to Canva um, to see if this could be maybe added to the, to the program, to their, to their app, uh, that would make a lot of people's lives easier so that's the first way of doing it. Second one is by creating lines and then um, positioning these lines very precisely to achieve the result that you want. And the third way is to create a rectangle and then create another rectangle with the same color as your background. So I hope this tutorial was useful and uh, I will see you in the next video, guys.